Yo, what's up guys, Sage Kogola here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the best Mega Knight deck in Clash Royale right now. I'm 81 in this grand challenge, and as you guys can see, I have this Mega Knight minor deck ready with the Evil Zap. I don't know since when you can play with the Evil Zap in a challenger, but as you guys can see, it's available now, and then it's an interesting version with the Skeleton Dragons. I feel like Skeleton Dragons in the current meta are insanely strong, especially against those type of decks with the Night Witch. I don't know why, but recently a lot of people have been adding Night Witch to their decks. I guess because of the Cannoneer. I've been seeing a lot of Elixir Golem players. I've seen also some people run it with the um, Giant Graveyard deck. And Skeleton Dragons in general is just very strong against those type of decks. And I feel like it's really solid on defense as well. So let's see what deck we're going to be playing against. Looks like he does have a Knight. Let's go with Barbell 2. It's the right side. And then here we can maybe cycle a Zep as well to start cycling towards the um, yeah, evolution. So I'm just going to Zep the left side. Not with the intention of getting a connection or anything with the Ghost. Just to yeah, cycle towards our um evolution okay let's go little prince here and then i'm thinking about i think this is gonna be hawk rider right okay i'm actually gonna go mega knight here kind of aggressively he doesn't have knight in cycle let's see how he's gonna defend this and then the skeleton dragons in this specific matchup should also be quite annoying for him because he doesn't have a big spell i think his only spells are gonna be um yeah lock plus earthquake okay nice let's go miner towards the firecracker let's see if the miner is able to tank for the skelly dragon and the little prince and it's gonna be a good connection on the left side i don't think it's worth it to ability to be honest i'm just gonna keep elixir just in case he goes with like a hawk rider in four elixir um to maybe yeah counter it as you guys can see with the ghost and i think maybe with a zap as well i guess i'm gonna try to time it as good as possible let's go with a zap now and then oh unfortunately it's still got a shot I guess it maybe wasn't worth it to zap on defense, but anyways, it's nice to start cycling. Towards the evolution zap, especially knowing that he has firecracker, we will be afterwards able to, yes, yeah, zap away the evil firecracker just for two elixir. Okay, so he does have a very quick cycle. We do need to watch out for that, but I think this is a pretty good matchup as long as we play it well, take a good advantage of our little prince, and then also the skelly Drex, as I said, should be quite annoying for him because of the fact that he has um, yeah, earthquake plus lock. I don't think he showed the earthquake yet, but, I mean, any, yeah, Hawk Rider deck basically runs it. Okay, we do not watch out with the Evo Firecracker at the bridge. Looks like he doesn't. Instead, he goes for a very nice Knight on top of our Miner. Okay, let's go with Ghost here in the back as well. And then let's see what he's gonna do. If he goes with um, Firecracker, I'm just gonna straight away zap that. Okay, let's see what he's gonna do. Let's go Mega Knight towards the right side. And then there you go. There's the Firecracker. Let's go with Zep right away to be able to take it down as soon as possible. And then uh, it shouldn't be able to get any more damage. And then here we can go with a minor towards the right side. And I'm going to go Little Prince here as well on the... Or sorry, minor to the left side. And I'm going to go Little Prince here towards the right side. Nice. Very good pressure. Um, Mega Knight is jumping. We can also go with some Skeleton Dragons. And then I'm going to go Warbreakers here towards the left side. Very good pressure on both lanes. As you guys can see, he's not able to keep up with all the pressure we're yeah, applying. And in the meantime, we're also going to get a good amount of damage towards his um, right side tower. Okay, Mega Knight plus Zephyr on defense. Mega Knight is going to get one shot. But it's fine, we can afford a little bit of damage as well. Barbell here on defense, only 10 seconds left. I don't think there's a way for him to yeah, break through our defense. As you guys can see, he already calls good game. Let's give him the good game. Very well played. I think this is a really good matchup. Mega Knight decks in general do quite well against Psycho decks. And then especially this version with the um, yeah, Skeleton Dragons. With the version we're running with the Evo Zep, especially really nice against that Firecracker. I feel like later on, if you run, for example, Mega Knight deck with only, I don't know, let's say like normal Zep. Let's say with arrows, of course, the evil firecracker doesn't die to arrows, and then it can cause a lot of problems, get a lot of value, and maybe it can, yeah, cost you maybe a lot of damage, or maybe even the match. But in this case, having evil zap is just amazing. So we're 9 1 in the grand challenge right now. We need three more wins to be able to complete the grand challenge. I will see you guys soon with the second match. Okay, guys, perfect. Looks like we're here against top one in the second match of today's video. By the way, before I, um, yeah, forget about it, I would like to see you guys, or I would like to hear your guys' opinion about potentially streaming here on my YouTube channel. And then also I will try to be again consistent on TikTok, also doing an English content, making a new TikTok account. So I will make sure to leave the TikTok account in the description down below. And then you guys can check it out, hopefully follow and hopefully yeah, enjoy the content. The content on TikTok, I guess will mostly be from the videos, also from the streams, if I'm gonna stream in the future, if you guys would like to see that. And then I guess in general, um, maybe some other type of content. I don't know what though, but let me know in the comment section down below your opinion. And then also um, if you guys have any ideas or anything really. Okay, so let's go with Magnite here. Let's go with Skeletrex in the meantime on top of the Expo. It is going to get a connection, but I think this is still a very good situation because we have the Magnite tanking both towers. We can go with the Miner here towards the left side. I don't think he has much Elixir right now, to be honest. And the Miner is with full HP tanking those Skeleton Dragons. Um, I'm not sure what he's going to do, but if he doesn't do anything, that's going to take tower. 
Okay, he goes wall breakers in the last second. I'm gonna go wall breakers here as soon as possible. Not sure if he has enough elixir for the lock. Looks like he does go with a lock last second. Ooh, I think I should have zapped. I think if I zapped on left side, would have been able to get the connection. And anyways, it's nice to start cycling the zap because this way you can um, get cycled towards the evolution. I guess it's fine though. Shouldn't be a big problem. Anyways, very good start. Kind of an aggressive expo by him. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna let it lock on. Go with skeleton dragons on top. And then afterwards, I will be able to get a very good yeah, situation going on both lanes okay he does go with little prince let's go with or he does go with expo let's go with little prince and then i'm gonna pop the ability instantly ability plus little prince does a really good job against the expo okay perfect that's a six for six trade but he's still gonna yeah, have to defend this in this case he spent eight elixir and it still needs to be responded to oh my god he spent so much elixir there just for the ability plus um yeah little prince so we got a lot of value there that's very good here we can go with Skeleton Dragons. And I think I'm actually going to go with Mega Knight here as well. Okay, he does go with Fireball. Well played by him. But I think this is still a very good situation for us. Bomber is not going to connect to the tower. So not the best Bomber by him anyways. And let's then go with Miner plus um, yeah, Evil Wallbreakers. I'm also going to go with the Evil Zap. Let's see if the Wallbreakers go to the tower. There you go. One of them does go to the tower. One of them is going to yeah, even take down the right side tower or the left side tower. And then here I'm going to continue pressuring the right side tower with a Ghost. I'm going to go Little Prince here as well. And I think at this point he should actually give up because yeah, there's not really much he can do. Especially whenever we take the tower, we can just go with like uh, troops in the face of the expo. Okay, let's go miner here. Let's then afterwards go with skelly dragons like this. I'm gonna go with a barbell here as well. Directly on top of the expo. And then this should be yeah, good game. There's no way the expo is gonna get the tower. And there's also no way that he's gonna um, yeah continue defending while applying so much pressure. So let's go with Wallbreakers here. Let's go with a miner as well. Nice defense by him with the bomber, but it's still so much damage dealt to the right of the tower. And then he still needed to yeah, take down our tower as well. I don't know why recently. I think I'm not sure if it's consistently. Hopefully you guys don't see it. But sometimes it's like stuttering a little bit, the gameplay. Hopefully it's not yet. There you go. Right as I'm talking right now, it is stuttering a little bit. Not sure why. Hopefully it wasn't um, that often during the matches. I do want to apologize for that. I'm going to make sure to check it out after recording this video. I guess for this uh, yeah, specific video, for this recording, we'll not really be able to, to fix it. Hopefully it doesn't... Okay, there you go again. Wait, what? Why is that happening? It's actually really annoying. Is it? Hopefully it's not that often. I just now notice it when like looking at the camera, but I don't yeah, really notice it when playing. So hopefully I'm trying to see if it happens again. Okay, looks like he does have love out. Let's see. Let's go with ghost towards the right side, guys. I do want to apologize for that. Not really sure why it's happening. And I hope it's not happening that often. I think for now it hasn't been happening yet during this match so far. Okay, let's go Little Prince here towards the left side. Let's see what he does. he's gonna drop. Looks like he does have the Balloon. I'm gonna go with Skeleton Dragons here. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go with some Wall Breakers towards the right side. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Oh, the Wall Breakers, what? I didn't expect the Bomber to switch lanes, to be honest. Okay, it is gonna yeah, deal a lot of damage towards our left side tower. I'm gonna go Mega Knight here up front. Try to get some counter push going, but not the best counter push, to be honest. Okay, let's go with a Zap here in the last second to be able to reset the Inferno Dragon. And then at least get a good amount of damage with the um, with the mega knight oh this is gonna be a nice ability actually i'm definitely gonna take it because the ability here is gonna take care of most of the barbarians we can even go with wall breakers as well and then we also or we can even go with wall breaker or with barbara on the left side and then now cycle towards the wall breakers let's go wall breakers evolution on the right side i don't know about those skeleton dragons to be honest yeah i was about to say that i don't know about those skeleton dragons it's gonna get uh, destroyed by the wall breakers still get a good amount of damage and then here we can have the step ready for the evil bomber, where are you gonna drop it? Or he doesn't even have the bomber, he just has the normal bomber. Okay, let's go with evil zap right away. And then thanks to the evil zap plus the ghost, it's gonna be tower down on the right side. So hopefully it's not uh, yet stuttering anymore for the gameplay. I do want to apologize for that, guys. Hopefully it was just like a um, yeah, one or two time thing in today's video. Okay, so looking very... I mean, I wanted to say very good, but it's not the best situation, but it's not the worst situation either. Okay, let's go Little Prince here towards the, um, the left side. I think I would like to go... Yeah, let's go with Barbell here. I don't know if he has a big spell, to be honest. I would like to find out if he has a big spell. Okay, let's go Wallbreakers like this. Let's then go with Skeleton Dragons here, kind of high. And then let's see what he's gonna drop to defend this. Uh, okay, he does go with this Zep. Let's go with our own Zep here to kind of protect those Skeleton Dragons. Let's go with Wallbreakers. And I'm gonna go with another set of Skeleton Dragons to clean up everything. Okay, nice. The Ghost is gonna connect to the tower. Wallbreaker almost gets connection as well. And then this is looking, I guess, decent, but at the same time, not the best situation, guys. We do need to watch out here. Okay, we need to try and cycle our evil zap, I feel like. Okay, let's go little prince here. Let's then afterwards go... Let's wait a little bit. 
I want to wait a little bit. Yeah, I was about to say that. I want to wait a little bit to see if he decides to go with his uh, balloon. Okay, he does go with the evil Zep. Let's go with Zep on defense here. And then hopefully that's enough to defend the balloon. Nice, very good defense. This is such a crazy um, yeah, match right now. Okay, let's go Little Prince here. And I think we gotta yeah, play a lot around his cycle. He doesn't have the best cycle against ground units. So we can go with a miner here towards um, the bomber. Let's then go with wallbreakers here as well. And we just need to cycle those ghosts as soon as possible. The wallbreakers almost end up connecting. In this situation, the ghost is gonna be so annoying for him. Perfect timing. He, yeah, uh, right as I say that, let's go with Inferno Dragon. Okay, let's see. The ghost uh, will not be able to survive. This is still looking very good right now. Okay, let's go Skelly Jacks here on defense. We need to watch out with this balloon. Please tell me that the balloon is not going to take the tower. I don't think it takes tower, right? Yeah, it doesn't take tower. It does get one shot. But that's still looking um, yeah, pretty decent for us. He is going to barbs here. So that's okay. We can force out the barbs with the ghost. And then afterwards, we can try to get, get something going. Maybe with a Mega Knight. Okay, I have an idea. We can go Miner here. I'm gonna go Mega Knight in the middle. He doesn't have anything for the Mega Knight in Psycho right now. He doesn't have Barbs in Psycho. He needs to go with Wallbreakers to the side. And then here, those evil Wallbreakers, he's not gonna be able to defend them without taking damage. As you guys can see, that's gonna be game. That was actually a really crazy game. Very, very well played for him. That's a strange matchup. I feel like um, one of the key things in this specific Mega Knight deck to be able to win that matchup is definitely the Skeleton Dragons. I feel like if we play that same matchup, but me having, for example, bets or me having uh, minions, I feel like that matchup wouldn't have been able to possible to win that. But thanks to the Skeleton Dragons, it was actually um, yeah, a winnable matchup, which we ended up even winning. So perfect, guys. Okay, let's go Skeleton Dragons here on defense. Looks like he goes with Wallbreakers. I guess we can um, Miner one side. I guess I'm just going to cycle or yeah, Miner on the left side. And then here afterwards, let's see what he's going to do. Looks like he has Bats and looks like he has um, Dark Prince. Okay. I think this is going to be... Oh, I wanted to say, I think this is going to be... Um, giant graveyard but after seeing the miner i'm not really sure what deck he's running to be honest oh my idea was that the mega knight is gonna jump backwards but unfortunately it doesn't miner is gonna get quite a bit of damage and here we can just prepare i think i'm gonna go barbell here as well nice perfect hopefully the mega knight can jump on top of the, um, the the tower at least once looks like it unfortunately doesn't let's go with ghost here towards the right side and then interesting deck by him not really sure what he's running but I guess it's just going to be like some minor poison deck. Okay, he also has Mother Witch. I'm not really sure what he's running, to be honest. Okay, let's see. Let's go with Little Prince here towards the right side. And then I guess we just got to have to um, yeah, wait to see if he has... I wanted to say that. To wait and see if he has a poison. If he has a poison, he's most likely going to use it on top of the Little Prince there, which indeed he did. So I guess we pretty much know his deck right now. Okay, nice. Perfect. We already have Zep ready for the bet. So in this case, I'm going to Zep them right away. And let's see what he's going to do here. Okay, he does go with the Evil Wallbreakers. We have Mega Knight in Psycho. Mega Knight is actually amazing against the Evil Wallbreakers. So not a big deal. And we're just going to take the, um, the minor damage. Okay, let's go Skelly Drex here as well. Hopefully we can take care of those guards quite quickly. Okay, perfect. He's still going to have to drop something. In this case, he does go... With the, um, with the Dark Prince, and he also goes with the Evil Bats. Okay, well played by him. We're gonna just have to, yeah, Little Prince here on defense, and it should be a pretty good defense. Hopefully, the Bats don't get too much damage. One of the Bats is gonna get two shots on all of the tower, but I guess it's fine. Especially in single elixir, I feel like these type of matchups, like Minor Poison, you just wanna, um, well, I guess unless you get a really good opportunity to go aggressive with the Mega Knight, you just wanna chill, try to cycle without taking too much damage, and then afterwards, you should be able to get the damage going with like big pushes from behind okay let's go barbara plus zep here to kill those wall breakers let's go with the little prince in the left side always important to go in the lane with the little prince where he's not attacking to force out the poison exactly where he doesn't um want to use it like in this case he used it because it's still a good play to poison away the little prince but of course he doesn't really want to use it there okay let's go skeleton dragons here we have the evil zep in cycle so this is going to be a very very good zep and then here we should be able to maybe even get some um, yeah, pressure going on both lanes. Okay, let's go Miner plus Wallbreakers left side. Let's see what he's going to do to defend this Mega Knight on the right side. He still needs to defend it because the Mega Knight um, yeah, is locked into the tower. We can go with Ghost. We can go with Skelly Jacks as well. And then I'm going to go with a Barbell just to yeah, create more pressure. Let's also go with a Miner just to be annoying. And then here we can maybe have the Zep ready in case he goes with Bats. Um, or I guess we can just leave it to be honest even though the Zep... Uh, wouldn't have been that bad. I think it's still not really that worth it. Okay, interesting situation. I think we're going to have to take the damage on the left side, guys, here. It's going to be a lot of damage taken, but I think it's going to be key to yeah, win this matchup. Okay, let's go Ghost now. Let's go Skelly Drex here as well. Then I'm going to go with Barbrell, and I'm going to go with a Miner towards the tower. Okay, looking pretty decent. Let's go with Wallbreakers. 
And then we're gonna prepare the Zep. There you go for the evil bets. Let's go with Zep right away. And then hopefully those skeleton dragons can look onto the tower. There you go. They do look onto the tower. And thanks to the cannoneer, it's gonna be a decent amount of damage. Okay, we need to watch out here, guys. Let's go with wall breakers. I think those wall breakers are gonna connect. Yeah, both of them end up connecting. So very, very good game by him. Let's give him a good game. And it's uh, unfortunately gonna put us, I believe, at 11 2, right? I think we already got, yeah, 11 2 right now. So this is gonna be a do or die situation. I will see you guys soon with the last match. Okay, perfect, guys. Look that we found the uh, last match quite quickly. Let's hop into the next match right away. Let's give him a good luck. And let's see what this guy's gonna be running. So unfortunately, uh, yeah, match up there. I feel like against minor poison we should do decent but then the cannoneer is just so strong against um yet yeah, the units we have it one shots the wall breakers it's very good against the mega knight it's just really annoying to to play against in general okay i'm actually gonna go mega knight already he does go with the lava hunt as well so this is gonna be a pretty good situation because the yeah mega knight is gonna force out something on defense while the little prince should be able to get a lot of value from the um, like on top of the lava hound okay perfect let's go with ghost here to cycle we even cycle towards the zap so that's awesome and then here afterwards we can even kite away the mega minion maybe yeah i think that's gonna be a good play i think it's better to kite away the mega minion than go with skelly dragons right away and now we i think we should go skeleton dragons um to clean up everything let's wait a little bit okay let's go with skelly dragons now i don't think he should have enough elixir to go with a fireball he might have a zap so that wouldn't be a bad play in this case he goes snowball so i think he is gonna take down our left side tower but still a pretty decent situation i guess um we basically took down his left side tower and then here we also got a good amount of damage on the right side tower okay let's go wall is here to continue pressuring he does go with the guards i think it's very important to always be annoying with the um, yeah, pressure cards like wall breakers like ghost in this case we go wall breakers now we can go ghost and i think he is gonna have to either go with bets or maybe even barbarians okay if he goes barbarians we're gonna go mega knight if he goes bets okay in this case i'm just gonna evil zap and the evil zap is gonna get a lot of value because with the ghost it's gonna get so much damage perfect okay looking very good right now okay i'm gonna go mega knight right side okay he does go with lava hound so this is gonna be an interesting situation i feel like he's gonna have like really strong attacks while we also have really strong attacks so we need to kind of find the balance i guess you can say between defending but also pressuring a lot like it's gonna be very very important to pressure a lot here okay let's see though let's go with lava uh, let's go with little prince here on top let's then go with uh, skelly dragons up high let's go with a barbell as well he does go with his barbarian so i'll play by him and then here i'm gonna go with a ghost to continue pressuring okay awesome let's go with wall breakers and then afterwards i'm gonna go with another set of skelly dragons i think we should be able to defend this just to be sure i'm gonna go zap as well um balloon still got a lot of damage but this is looking very good because we already basically took down both the towers ghost is on top of the king tower as well and then here we just need to um i think continue pressuring but also we do need to watch out okay this is kind of an awkward situation he's gonna go with lava hunt right yeah i was about to say that He's gonna go with Lava Hound, so I think we need to pressure here with the, um, the Mega Knight as soon as possible. Okay, let's go Little Prince now, let's go Skelly Dragons as well. Let's go Barbell, left side tower does go down. Can we defend the Lava Hound? Um, okay, 20 HP left. I think, is that gonna be tower? No, it's not gonna be tower. Wait, I misclicked the Wall Breakers, that's meant to yeah, go a little bit higher. Let's go with Skelly Dragons here as well. Balloon is not gonna take down the tower, Snowball is gonna take it though okay what is even happening right now let's go with a ghost here to pressure let's see what he's gonna do looks like he does go with the guards let's go with a barbarian as well and then i think he's gonna have to maybe barbarians or what is he gonna do to defend this okay let's go evil step here it's gonna be a very good evil step because it's gonna deal quite a lot of damage to the tower while the barbarian is also connecting let's go with skeleton dragons let's go with miner and then as you can see both of the wall breakers plus the miner is gonna connect it's gonna take the tower and it's gonna be it for today's video what a crazy video we ended up losing unfortunately that match against the minor poison but besides that we did get some really good w's against i think pretty difficult matchups especially the lava matchups i feel like those are kind of yeah tricky but thanks to the um, addition of the skeleton dragons i feel like it's way more winnable than having for example the bets or the minions as i mentioned before so that's gonna be it for today's video let's quickly open up this 12 win grand challenge chest a very nice video hopefully you guys enjoyed it to end the video we get a legendary so make sure to leave your like if you're not subscribed to the channel feel free to subscribe and i hope to see you guys in one of my next videos take care guys